A PT told me she knew that her baby would not live even though she had an emergency CS for distress. I asked her how she knew. She had seen a family member in the hallway going to the OR that had recently died and they told her they would take of the baby, not to worry. Not so much a ghost story, but a story about when my mom died a year ago. She was at my sister's house for two weeks and started going downhill. Hospice was called on a Saturday and she lapsed into a coma on Tuesday. Me and my other sister got to her house on Wednesday. On Thursday, my mom woke up for three hours and was talking to other people in the room. My dad died in 2000, and she kept saying Frank, would you leave me alone, I am not ready to go with you yet. Then she would get pissed and yell at him in German, she was from Germany. Then she saw her mother who passed away in 1964. The said mama and started to cry and then spoke German to her for about an hour. She was reliving her childhood with her and talking about things they did when she was small and she was laughing and having a good time with her. My mom lost twin boys in her fifth month in 1966 and she was talking with them and said I am so glad your Oma was there for you. I was so afraid you were alone. All of us in the room, and there was about 15 of us were in wonder the entire time. This went on for three hours. She would talk to them and then us. At one time she turned to me and said oh Susie, I didn't know you were here too, do you see all the people waiting for me? She was afraid to die because of the unknown I guess. The next day, Thursday she didn't wake up at all and she woke up again on Friday morning for an hour while I was in the room with her. She said she wasn't afraid anymore and that she had seen heaven. She just wanted my dad to stop bugging her because she hadn't finished her job yet. She told me that my dog that had passed away six months before that was with my dad. She died the next day. When we got back into town the following day to get ready for the funeral, we were staying at my mom's house and it was hot outside, but we all smelled wood burning from her fireplace. I snapped some pictures and there are orbs all over those pictures. The only pictures in the set that has them. We have a gentleman that we call the inspector. He appears at the end of the long hall, our wings are L-shaped. He carries a clipboard in his hand. When he shows up a resident usually dies within the next couple days. We've also had residents ring and tell us that there was a man standing next to their roommate's bed and that we should tell him to leave, no man on nights. The roommate usually dies soon after. And then there's the children. Several lucid residents have reported children in the halls at night there's a children's home behind us where children have been abused in the past. In DC in the 50s there was a porn theater, it burned down and some people died, later as it was being demolished, there were freak accidents and yet a few more people died. Eventually a new building is built, in 1991, my DH was on this job site for a complete renovation, at this time none of the guys really knew the above history, some guys, DH, included started saying that they felt chills it was summer no AC, like they were being watched, feeling creepiness. My DH kept saying that he felt something bad following him, he only told his co-workers this and he is was a die-hard skeptic he never believed any ghost stories, in a month, one guy lost a finger, another guy fell down a flight of steps he said it felt like someone pushed him, and quite a few guys dodged falling objects, another guy tripped and broke his arm there were more accidents at this job than the company had had in the last 10 years combined. In June, my DH had a freak accident and cut off the tip of his left index finger, he then told me about the bad feelings and weird occurrences. Two weeks later, he went back to work. At 10 a.m., I got this message Dawn, Forex has been hurt, there is a lot of blood, but I think he'll live. The paramedics are taking him to GW my DH had almost lost half of his left hand, he said he felt the presence all day and then a 200-pound piece of cast iron pipe fell, straight down with the open end smashing down on his hand like a 200-pound cookie cutter from 10 feet up, the paramedics on the scene said that based on what they saw, my DH should have lost his hand it was concrete, DH hand and then pipe, the weird thing is that my DH said that at the last second he actually saw something a white blur push the pipe away, so that that is was diverted from crushing straight down.
After he was hurt about five guys refused to even put foot on the job site. After three surgeries and six months of rehab, my DH could use his hand but I still get chills when I look at the semicircular scar that divides his hand in half. I was working a night shift job as an aide caring for a lady with terminal cancer on hospice at home. I've done this work for years, she was starting to slip and I woke her family, two girls and DH. We were all sitting around, she was pretty quiet and peaceful. All of a sudden, she looked toward the door and said, Rex, Rex you're here for me. I'm ready and they won't let me go, I saw a shadowy figure come into the room and felt the creepiest evil spirit, I'm not normally spooked but I was so glad when it was time for me to go home. I turned to watch this spirit and the family was looking at me like, what are you looking at? The lady died later that day. A few months later her DH had been sick, just not well, not terminal, and they called my agency to see if I would come and stay with him at night for a few days until he was a little stronger. I stayed two nights. All kinds of weird paranormal stuff in that house. Voices in rooms that were empty, sound of people moving around when everyone was asleep, etc. I decided I didn't care how sick he was or how much that family liked me, I was not doing another shift there. Lol. If you like stories like these, please support this channel by leaving a comment, liking, subscribing, and or sharing. Please comment which story you found the most interesting. Thank you for your time today.